Howdy everybody. Out here with, uh, well, a cigarillo, uh, whichever, which, if you're from Tennessee, is pronounced cigarilla, but, uh, I don't know, once I heard the, I actually heard it pronounced properly, and I can't, uh, I cannot go back. I, uh, I'm kind of a, a stickler for pronunciation. But this is an outlaw by Swisher Sweets. Um, now, I will say the reason I got this was because, for one thing, it, it says natural handmade in Honduras. So, I thought I'd give it a, ch a shot um, for uh, it's, a, the, it's a pack of eight for uh, six dollars. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I didn't figure that I'd be really really in it too deep if I didn't care for them. But uh, Swisher Sweets uh, was my uh, my grandfather's favorite cigar. He smoked them all the time. And every now and then I just, I, I like to have a, a Swisher Sweet just to, you know, sit back and remember them. But uh, when I saw these outlaws, I'll show you the packaging. It's a little foil pack, <clears throat> but uh, I saw the packaging and it looked interesting. That it actually looks like well, what you'd expect, like a bandito or something like that to smoke in it. I mean, if you've ever seen a uh, fistful of dollars, uh, it looks a hell of a lot like the little cigarillos that uh, that uh, Clint Eastwood smokes. So, and they, they 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 look pretty cool, and they're uh, you can kind of tell because of the packaging they're all bent and a little crooked, and I think that kind of adds to the uh, to the image a little bit. But um, I'm a little bit surprised that by the fact that they ain't bad. I mean, uh, it's just a cheap little cigar, but uh, you know. For less than a less than a dollar a cigar, it's it's probably too close for you guys. Uh, it's not a bad deal. I mean, I'll definitely probably buy another pack of these after this one's gone. Cause uh, sometimes, I mean, well, you know, sometimes you want filet mignon, sometimes you want a hamburger. Sometimes I like. Uh, sometimes you know when I'm smoking a pipe, I like. Uh, you know, I like Old Gallery. I like Frogmorton on the Town. I like, uh, you know, complex blends that are going to cost a little bit. But uh, I also like the old drugstore blends. I mean, Carter Hall is my old standby. I will always keep some Carter Hall around. So I figured, you know, why can't cigars be the same way? Every now and then, a nice Partagas Black or a Spanish Rosada or something like that and sometimes when uh, when my tastes are running to the cheap Swish your Sweet Outlaw but yeah it's not bad there's a there's a little bit of a spice edge to it which I do I definitely like like I'm a big fan of uh, well like I said Old Gowrie I love uh, Virginia Perique blends for pipe tobaccos, and I uh, I love the little C notes by Drew Estate. They use a Sumatran uh, leaf for the wrapper, and it's got a pretty good kick to it. Uh, but this has a little bit of a kick, not a lot, but a little. It's nice, and uh, the uh, 
the wrapper, I, it's a Honduran uh, cigar leaf wrapper, but uh, it's it's a little, you know, it's, it's been a little flavored. It's the, the, I can tell the wrapper has been sweetened, which, you know, Swisher sweets. Don't expect them to be completely, uh, completely natural with it, but it ain't bad, folks. I need to touch it up a little. I'm not so worried about uh, about you know keeping you know having the, the little cone of an ember in it. I'm not worried about that or anything. Which it's that's actually kind of a, another plus to it. I don't have to worry about maintenance because if I if I had a you know a good if I had like a five or six dollar cigar right now you better believe I'd be uh, I'd be worrying over every little detail make sure the wrapper burns evenly make sure you know just that well like I said make sure it's being maintained right with this you can you don't have to do any of that so sometimes you know cheap's good I can see why my grand why my grandpa smoked so many of those. But uh tell you what, I'll share a share a little story about my grandpa with you all. Um he was a character. He uh hard drinking man up until the last four years of his life where he gave it up uh gave, gave up uh, gave up whiskey. Promptly had a series of strokes that where he couldn't leave the house. I never knew if it was the result of him just quitting cold turkey like that, but I don't know. He he changed changed in his last years, and he changed for the better. But uh, when we uh, first moved out uh, to the, the house I grew up in, I was about three years old, and my parents were actually building the house, and it's a little duplex. My grandparents would li lived on the other side. My, Grandma still lives over there. Uh, so, but the road that we live on was a private drive of one of our neighbors, and he hated the fact that we kept using his private drive. So he said, uh, you know, y'all are going to have to put your, uh, you know, get your driveway to let out on the highway. Find some other way of getting in and out, because I don't want y'all using my drive anymore, and I'm going to put a gate up to keep y'all from doing it. So, uh... So my granddad says, all right, you put that gate up, I'll chain it to my truck, and I'll pull it down. Every time you put it up, I'll pull it down. Because my grandpa didn't take shit from anybody. So he, uh, our neighbor, he said, uh, I don't remember, the, of course, you know, I was too young to really appreciate it or uh, remember it. But I got all this second hand from my folks. But uh, they argued about it back and forth until my grandpa, whose name was John, John Ike Jones. But uh, we all called him Buck. I can't remember why, but everyone knew him as Buck. So Buck eventually gets fed up with him. Picks up a shovel, looks at him and says, I think you best get off my property. I miss my grandpa sometimes. Well, yeah, all the time. I uh, really wish I could sit and have a cigar with him. But, uh, oh well, happy trails. Talk to you guys later. And uh, let me know what you guys think, you know. Who likes, uh, who likes the cheap stuff every now and then?